Well, hello there, everyone. It is a lovely host here. It is Rai Rai. Okay, so follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, my own Facebook page. The link will be down below. If you want to be part of the future episode of the Rai Rai Show, we discuss about anything. Football, wrestling, movies, video games, music, anything, okay? Even politics, if you are a fan of that. But don't bash the host. That's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. So please get back with me. DM me and all good stuff. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't want to do that, maybe you want to look at the villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, there's no link. Sorry. There's a, there might be an article or a subject. It'll be down below. Okay. Let me discuss about Justin Fields. He will be the future quarterback for the Bears. Okay, now you might know or may not know that the Bears signed him for a four-year contract, guaranteed, worth a lot of money. Now the question is, they give him all that money and he didn't even play yet. Is it because they don't want to lose his franchise quarterback? I think that's a lot of money. Plus, that's a lot of years. You know, if I was the Bears, I know that sounds silly. Give him like a two-year contract and a lot of money. If it works out, then give him a big fat contract. But that's the bear for you. They want to make sure he's with the bear for a four-year contract. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, he looks good in practice. You know, I like can, um, what they call it, um, not training, um, Q and A's or however they say that. So he looks good. You know, he'd been passing the ball to one of the running backs. But let's see what he does in preseason. I guess he's going to get some um, touches, you know. He looks great in college, but in the NFL are two different things. Just because he's great in college does not mean he's going to be great in the NFL. He could be a total bust. I remember a couple of years ago or even longer, Ryan Leaf. Ryan Leaf was great in college. When he went to the NFL, he's a total bust. He's a huge distraction in the locker room. And guess what? He quit the NFL. You know? Can you just imagine if the Colts picked him instead of Peyton Manning? That would be a total disaster. So this could be the same thing, you know? Just because, you know, these players just care about one thing is making money. I remember when Devin Hester broke all the records and his contract was... was um. It, was expiring, so Bears signed him, gave him a big flat contract, and guess what? He did not really perform very well from the previous year, so he just cared about one thing, is making that money. So that is BS. Maybe he was not playing very well after his contract. Hmm. So hopefully, Justin does not do the same thing what Hester did. You know, have great numbers, and when it comes down to contract time, he sucks. And Bears still sign him. Of course, he'd be a future NFL Hall of Famer. Of course, with the Bears. I know he played with the other teams, but he, st he, bear he stayed with the Bears all his life. Until later on, the Bears cut him. That was so stupid, but whatever. So, I wish he broke the record with the Bears instead of the Falcons. He's a Hall of Famer, but hopefully with the Bears. Not with the Ravens, not with the Falcons, not with the Buccaneers. Bears only. Hopefully, he, he'll be in the Hall of Fame in 2022, hopefully. So, what do you think? This is, do you think this is too much money the Bears give him to the rookie or not? Too many years? What's your thoughts? I just hopefully does not bite him in the butt. Of course, Andy Dalton's going to start. And I guess his rookie is going to fight his way to get the number one job. No one position. We'll see what's going to happen. Ryan Pace is on the hot seat. And, of course... Matt Nagy's on the hot seat. We'll see what's going to happen. I don't think the Bears are going to win a lot of games, but maybe they will, might surprise the league. Who knows? It's way too early. It's only... Hey, Google, how many days until the NFL season kicks off? Hey, Google, how many days until the NFL season kicks off? The NFL regular season in the United States of America is in 87 days. Time goes so fast. Now you know already that the, the NFL Hall of Fame has been cut from Steelers, 
Dallas, that's awesome. No one does not give a crap about the game. They just care about the celebration. Why they can't just have a celebration? You know, the whole Fame game is does not mean nothing. Just my opinion. Just for the rookies and maybe the veterans. Just get ready for the upcoming season. I'm glad they got rid of um, four preseason games. Now it's only three. Maybe one day they'll only have two preseason games. And they just added two to the regular season. You know, the NFL players will complain, but they make more money than the average person. Okay, let me leave a comment about this down below. What do you think about this contract? Do you think that's a lot of money? Too much money or too much, too many euros? I was just wondering. Hopefully, it does not bite the bears in the butt. If so, they have a long euros to keep them. You know, they got four euros. That's a long time. But if if he produce and they have great seasons, I don't know if he's gonna start right away. I flipping doubt it. Maybe if Dalton's gonna struggle like uh, what happened to Mike Glennon and Mitchell. Remember that era? That's horrible. They should put in Mitchell right away. That's why Mitchell did not really perform good right away because he did not have the right training. You know, Mike Lennon is not a very good veteran QB in my opinion. Everyone out there, have a good one. See you guys next time. Go Bears for the upcoming season. Yeah.